Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well, especially in this rainy day in Lebanon. It's been raining for like two weeks non-stop. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's so depressing. It doesn't stop, like, come on. You just want it to be sunny for a while, just to go and enjoy the sun and like, I don't know. Anyway, today we're going to listen to someone that I've never reacted to before. It's Charlie Puth. And I know his voice, I know him, I know his songs, but I did not listen to his newest song, Light Switch. And I don't know what is it about. I don't know if it's something uh, like uh, the older songs or a new style. No idea at all. So I'm not going to say anything about it. Just let's go. Okay, first I'm going to talk about the song. I'm so excited to talk about it. <laughs> okay, I was shocked. It's new, it's new, it's totally new. And every time I was like enjoying myself while dancing, the music stops, the beat stops. So I was like, what's, what's happening? And what I love about the song, other than the beat, is the voice of Charlie Puth in the song. I mean, I cannot imagine another voice on this song other than Charlie's. 
because he has a great capacity he has a great potential i know he's a professional but i mean not everyone can sing the song uh, that way he's super fast he's super familiar he's super comfortable with the notes super comfortable with the notes and it's a hard song why because it's fast it is a fast song and i love it i love it i mean I can dance to it. I mean, it's a song that we can listen to it everywhere. Uh, at the gym, in the radio, while driving, while walking, while doing, uh, I don't know, cleaning the house, playing something. This song, it fits any mood. Even if you're sad, you can listen to it. Even if you're happy, you can listen to it. Even if you're angry, you can listen to it. I mean... I loved it. I really loved it and I did not expect that at all. Well done, Charlie. Like, really well done. About the music video, also I was shocked. It was something new for me. It wasn't like he was only singing. We saw him singing at the end, but it's not like he's walking and singing. No, it's a story in the song. And I love the music videos that are stories, storytellers more than only a video and by the way I saw myself in the video because I'm someone who needs a lot of motivation and I've been postponing getting fit for a long time I mean I'm not fat at all but I eat a lot of uh, junk food and I'm not doing sports though I was athletic and now I'm not doing anything and I was watching the video and saying like okay that's me not in a breakup but like that's me not moving around and i should do that but when i don't know soon next week on monday i'll start i don't know if you do the same so what are we going to do right now we're just going to listen to the song again if you're here for the first time usually what i do is i listen to the song the entire song without pausing and then i give my commentary like i did right now and now we're going to listen to the song to give you my analysis about the voice of Charlie Puth and a little bit of the music video. We'll talk about the music video. So let's go. The intro is a great, a great booster. It's a boost for the mood. Like it catches you, it captures you from the first notes. This is great. The mood that the song is on is amazing. Yeah. I love, by the way, how it stopped. My heart like skipped a beat. Like what happened right now? And at first, by the way, here I did not recognize him. I was like, who's, who's that actor that he's acting? Really, I did not recognize him at first. By the way, here it reminded me of the song of Ed Sheeran. Like, at first I was like, is this a Sheeran's song? This is a dark parade. Are you calling at 11.30? It's kind of the same, the same beat, by the way. They used the same beat. I don't know if it's something that nowadays we are using, this beat. I say don't look back, but I go right back in. What I love about Charlie Puth's voice is that he uses his low voice and his high voice. He can't sing anything. I know his songs are limited, like he's singing songs that are his songs, originals. I've never heard him in a cover, so I can't tell you exactly. But I love how he can soften his voice and how he can sing with his full voice. And I love like he's going an octave high and an octave low. That's really good. I'm gonna walk away. I love how he uses his head voice. This is this is the specialty of Charlie Puth. The high notes reaching them in a soft way. When you're moving your body around and around. I loved what he did right here. I don't know who wrote this song. I don't know if he wrote it. But if he did, like, those notes are really good. It's the first time I hear something like that. I've never heard it in another song. I mean this melody. Because sometimes you can hear a song or that is a little bit similar to another song as a melody. And here it's not. And I love what he did. If you want to uh, practice on this song, I recommend you to practice on it. If you want to master this song, you have to master it 
while singing it slowly. I mean, if it's something hard for you to do, you can do it like a little bit slower and then you can go a little bit more faster and a little bit more faster until you reach this tempo. So you can master it the way Charlie Puth is mastering it. Okay, he can do it from the first time, of course. If you can do it from the first time, that would be great. But I'm telling you, if you cannot and you want to reach those notes, it's not hard to reach them. Only with practice, you can do it. I don't wanna fight this. I love how he's like, I don't wanna fight this. So nice. Turn me on like a light switch when you're moving your body. I'm loving how the music is stopping. It's catchy. The, the music is so catchy, and I'm loving that it's stopping. When you leave, and then you leave me stressing, me stressing. Uh, 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 but I can't stay mad when you walk like that. No. The producer of this song is a mastermind. He knows what he did. I mean, if someone is playing it on the guitar, it, it will be so nice. But the importance of the song here, it's not only Charlie puts voice it's also the production of the song because we have a lot of changes in the song that the brain is still analyzing and it's still like absorbing the information and realizing what's happening but uh, as long as he's still doing that something new is coming up so they are realizing that then something else is coming up so uh, your brain is keeping on getting these information that's why it's a great song because it's catchy uh, it's new for us it's new for the ear it's new for the brain it's it's new for the movement i mean i really would like to watch uh, some choreographies just to see how people are dancing on this song and how creative they can be wow very nice you never want to be each other can we talk about Charlie Puth's acting? I mean, he's a great actor and he's, he's funny. It's not the first time I see him acting in a music video, but he's really good. I think he would be great in a movie. We have to talk about the second voice of Charlie Puth in the song. It's really great. And if you pay attention to the song, He's giving like some vibes, like, yes, no, yeah, yeah. it's nice and uh, I like it. Wow, what he did here. We have to appreciate the, the voice of Charlie Puth. I mean, if you're someone who's not a fan, okay, I understand, but you cannot say that Charlie Puth cannot sing because that would be offensive. He is a great singer. I would love to hear him singing the song live. Like a light switch. I love here how his voice became low. Like, this is what I love about Charlie. He's not always singing head voice, head voice. No, he's giving us something. He can sing the low notes. And I love how the click, every time he says light switch, we hear the click. Now I don't wanna fight this You know how to just make He went from low to high He's really good If you focus on the back, on the background He's screaming by the way, he's screaming But it's a little bit soft, I mean the volume is soft Because it's not like we're showing him singing and screaming It's about the chorus here It's a really nice song I don't know why he's reminding me of Justin Bieber. Like the vibe, it's kind of similar to Justin Bieber's kind of genre. Wow. Guys, did you focus what he did here? He went he went like rolling down with the notes. It was amazing. Listen again. And by the way, I did not like the ending. But I mean, it's real. It's real. This is what's happening. And I love how the message of the song is like, uh, the message of the music video is like, don't try to change yourself for someone else. And this is a great message. It's so powerful. And I think this is 
This is the idea of the music video. I wanted a happy ending at the end because like he did a lot of effort to become this person for her and yet she chooses this one. <laughs> but I love it. I loved how they ended with the light switch. <laughs> it's a funny music video. I really loved it. I don't know who the, the actor is, uh, the coach. Maybe he's someone famous or not. I don't know him. If you know him or is if he's famous, I would like to know who is he. So guys, that was my reaction to Charlie Puth's song, Light Switch. I hope you liked it. And let me know if you want me to hear or to react on any other song. A new song, an old song, or I don't know, whatever you want. Thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you would like to watch my other reaction. Don't forget that I'm here because of you. Love you so much, guys. Bye.